The owner of Churchill Brothers, Churchill Ali Mao, has reiterated his point that it is important to have the Goa Football Association elections immediately. He has also said that once the new committee is appointed, they can make amendments and changes as per the Union Sports Policy Code. The tenure of GFA committee has ended on the 8th of May 2018. The elections slated for 29th of July were purposely postponed because of the code of conduct of the National Sports Code. The GFA president Elvis Gomes had said that present body wants to have the election but firstly it needs to make changes in the sports code that is directed to the union sports constitution before holding the elections. The GFA is a bylaws book. The constitution is clearly said after four years in the last week of July anybody holds a position shall dissolve the committee and fresh election should be held. And in general, this committee 2014, which is new to Nairobi, that is why All India Football Federation, 2018, we dissolved it. And freshly election got held in the last week of July. But today, it's Zawna. It's Zawpa Chigarasa. A constitution, that is why it's as per India Constitution in football, cricket, that is why we have to follow it. So if we don't follow it, that means we are violating our own rules. So there is a system which has come in place which says after two terms you need a cooling period of four years and then you can contest again. So taking all this into account but just you are going to bar somebody because of his age and that too not he has come to that age but you are going to buy time and you are going to buy time and you are going to misguide the people. GFA is not a body which belongs to a particular family or which is self-centric. It's a body which belongs to Goa. It's a body which belongs to Goans. It's a body which belongs to sports development. So I don't think that you have to misuse the power and misuse it in a manner that you deprive somebody from contesting an election. I understand tomorrow there is an EGM and there is an AGM. Just overnight, the amendments were sent yesterday, which is very difficult for a layman to understand that how things can be put forward. The implementation of the sports code categorically says whoever is going to chair that particular seat has to follow the terms and the rules of the National Sports Code. So it's just not about the present, pres present sitting president or tomorrow's president. Whosoever may be the president, he has to follow the rule. Constitution is, is over. As per the constitution, rule is uh, over, time is over. So that should be filled first. And then, who was coming there? They can make this code, code uh, amendment. There is no agency to make the, this code amendment tomorrow or after tomorrow. If the agency, it is come on the on 8th, 8th June, it's come. So 8 June, why did they put it? 8 May. 8 May. 8 May come, why did it not done that time? If this is agency. First, the code amendment is not agency. Agency is the, as constitution, as per the law constitution, the four years, your term is over. This is, this is, I'm just telling you, and they not, they not, they wanted to still continue, continue, is uh, illegal. Our video journalist, Itshar Sheikh in Panaji.